It is the 1st of March 1940. The British Raj has fallen to the Japanese Empire. And uh, there are pockets of resistance left, uh, both in India and from a small incursion of Allied forces in southern China. But uh, we are about to clean them up. And the Japanese have landed a beachhead at the port of Palembang in, in Java. And we are about to, uh, to conquer the remaining parts of the Dutch East Indies. Meanwhile, there were sightings. There were sightings of American forces operating uh, within the area of the Bismarck Sea. And obviously, uh, uh, one, one, major, one major outpost is Guam that we're going to need to take off them to secure our flanks and to make sure that the Americans can no longer operate. From there, it's going to be an island hopping. Um, we need to, going to take Wake Island off them. There are still some French holdings, some British holdings, and obviously the Australian holdings here that uh, we're going to need to take care of. So there's still a lot of island conquest to be done in Southeast Asia. But our long-term strategic goal is going to be Hawaii. And uh, from there, we will eventually um, make our way through to, uh, through to the Americas. In the West, we are poised to... We have wiped out Bhutan because it was a, a pimple on the map, sort of. <laughs> it was just a little country here that was sitting there. and We don't want that. So we will be... Um, uh, we have declared war on Iran. And the... Uh, the third army is ready to is ready to strike uh, into Iran. Iran is um, not great territory to fight in, but uh, it does have oil. So uh, we are currently positive on oil, but we're still trading to a degree with Venezuela. Uh, I'd like to cut that off, such that we are we've, we're achieving complete autarky in all in all resources. Uh, that is our goal. So these troops here are just uh, busy wiping out the remains of. Um, there's some Portuguese holdings. I don't have. I don't think Portugal is currently. Yeah, Port Portugal is unaligned. Uh, so they currently don't really, don't really have beef with anybody. Um, there are a couple of Portugal holdings. Uh, Portuguese holdings here. Uh, Macau and whatever the heck this is. Uh, Goa. Okay which I would like to take off them eventually, but right now I can't be bothered. So <laughs> I've got I've got British to fight. So uh, one of the problems, obviously, is that we've got, uh, well, we have planes here. Um, we want them. What are the air zones? Um, uh, we can't e we can't even get yeah, it's quite useless. We can't even get uh, we can't even get where we need to be. So they might as well not do anything. So they're currently without missions. And we do have some fighters who are um, not needing to do anything either. Uh, unless we are managing to capture an airport, there's not an awful lot that these guys can do. And I don't know if Iran has any airports. Um, it doesn't look like. So there might be something further up north here near Tehran. But uh, in the sticks here, and this is all... Uh, this is all... Go away. This is all not great terrain. This is all desert <laughs> and mountains. And more desert and more mountains <laughs> we're gonna have to do without air power for now we will see how well the uh how well the third army is going to fare and we're gonna get him some more supplies from over from out here but um yeah obviously the supplies uh, iran has joined the allies yes the supply situation isn't going to be great so uh, we know that much already let's see if we can break through here somewhere ideally um Let's try to make, make a breakthrough in the north. We leave uh, we leave one one division here, and then we will try to we will try to just cut them off completely uh, around this area. And in, and at the same time, we will uh, we'll leave one division to defend, and the rest will push will push around the south and do the exact same thing. And hopefully we can manage to uh, to encircle whatever whatever troops they have here. So uh, hopefully they can uh, they can sort that out on the ground. And uh, I don't have to worry about it too much. But yeah, the first ar um, army should be should be capable of doing that. Uh, the second army, meanwhile, is sort of without purpose at this point. <laughs> um, what's my supply situation everywhere? So this shouldn't be that dreadful anymore. Hopefully, because we do have, 
we do have some supply si supply scenarios. Uh, it's not great though, but um, it's 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 manageable. Yeah, I'm I'm not quite sure yet. Uh, we may actually. I just don't want to occupy the supply too much because I think two armies would be too much. So maybe we'll get the second <coughs> army into a um, into a fallback line uh, just just along the just along here and uh, and just um, just make sure that that's all working. And the first army um, the first army is not also necessarily with purpose. Now one thing, it's nineteen forty. At some point, the Germans are going to start attacking the Soviet Union. And I am mildly thinking to uh, assist with that attack and cut them off from this side. So I might already send the first army. Uh, unfortunately, there's no supply up north. So um, I might send them. We'll see what it looks like. We'll get them sort of into a spread out defensive position uh, along the... Uh, along this northern area here and see if we can sw swoop north and secure uh, secure our northern flanks. So that's what something we can do. Uh, our air force is completely busy at the moment trying to hit the uh, trying to hit everybody trying to hit the Americans um, We've got these guys on naval strikes and everybody else on port strikes uh, We've got uh, We've got carrier group one as a strike force here but they don't—they don't seem to have uh, currently. They don't seem to have reacted to anything, so we'll just leave them sitting there. How's our how's Osawa's fleet looking like right now? Um, we're still repairing, so that might still be in port for a little bit. Uh, Carrier Group Two, Tosa is repairing, but um, does have a is starting to have a viable number of ships here. Um, that's a Yunsen. That is another scout submarine, uh, and I think these are, yeah, these are also Yunsen ones. So uh, they don't actually need to, they don't actually need to train. So this can be, uh, this can become where are we up now? Scout Group Four, and that would be Scout Group Four. Okay, uh, they need the right insignia because they're scouts and uh, that, that'll be it because we're uh, we're not really necessarily going to need more uh, these guys are busy mine laying are they yeah they're busy mine laying well, they can do that until the end of days I think uh, do we how many uh, no we don't really where are they mine laying actually where did I send them I mean it's just three ships they're not gonna do an awful lot um, well, they're currently mine laying in the Marianas. Uh, no, I'm not sure where they're operating, but I'm, I'm sure it's useful at some point. I, I don't have any major, major mine laying operations going on. All right, uh, this doesn't look too great, but there aren't actually any enemy ships operating here. Uh, we are ready for a naval invasion. We just don't have the naval supremacy at this point. So um, that's something we're going to need to be doing. But all in all, it's uh, it's calmed down a little bit. So my airstrikes appear to have been relatively successful in um, in doing what they were doing and uh, and hindering the enemy. What are these doing? These guys are actually they don't need to exercise anymore. Uh, is there? I don't know. Is, are there any enemy holdings here? What is all this? Um, it's a bit difficult to tell from here. This is all my stuff. Um, this is, I think, part of the Marshall Islands there. Uh, this is British. There might be British operating here, so maybe I'll pull. I'll pull these guys. Uh, do I have a? Do I have a closer airport? Not really. I'm just gonna get them to do naval. Well, hang on. This is f f tactical bombers. I'm just gonna get them to do naval strikes in the. In Micronesia and the fighters are just here in case I need fighters so they can actually keep uh, keep exercising okay so that's ongoing 
Um, I do realize it's 1940, so we're going to get some new techs. We're also waiting for 20 uh, 23 Navy experience because then we can get um, then we can get a uh, we can get the Shokaku class designed. So that's going to be exciting. So for now, um, there's not much going on here anymore. I think this will be wiped out. And then uh, have I told these guys to proceed? Yes, I have. Uh, this will be wiped out relatively soon. I just need to keep a co close eye on these here. Yes, okay, so that's all done as well. Okay, so I can pull the uh, fourth army divisions because I have some marine divisions here that I don't necessarily need on that front line. Okay, so we're gonna get these... Uh, where's the third one? There, we're gonna get these guys over to the port here. And we're going to get them ready for a... Uh, Nope, not the front line. That's not what I wanted to do. I want to get them ready for a naval invasion from over to Luzon. And we're not actually going to hit Manila port directly, but uh, we're going to hit them here. Uh, three divisions assigned. Good. Uh, no, no, that's all good. Uh, we've lost, uh, we've hit some convoys, but uh, convoys are surprisingly difficult to hit from uh, from level bombers. So, but we will need eventually, after we've done the Philippines, we will start an invasion here and uh, and take Guam off them because they, they have to not have a naval base there. And then I think dealing with them is going to be a lot easier. Okay, uh, we can we can surround one Dutch, tr uh, Dutch unit here and uh, just, yeah, just, just wipe those out. There seems to be not an awful lot here. So we're just going to try to surround that as well, and there isn't. And we'll just keep keep expanding. Uh, the rest of the the rest of the troops are ferrying over, and by the looks of my fuel depleting, it sounds like um, it sounds like Yamamoto is is on the run. Yes, Yamamoto has has sullied. He must have spotted something uh, in the Bismarck Sea. That would be this. Uh, no, carrier group one is engaging something else, not that spotting. I'm not sure what they are engaging. Um, they shouldn't be engaging in the South China Sea, although there is a there's a there's there's a bunch of I think destroyers. Well, no, these are light cruisers actually. There's a cruiser group engaged here, but uh, we'll, we'll we'll see who we will see who um, who Yamamoto has been spotting, and who he is uh, sallying forth to engage. I am very curious. Uh, no, he's trying to intercept uh, six Australian destroyers instead of actually going for the larger American task group that is here. Oh, well. Yamamoto, you do you. Uh, you do you, old man. Uh, support here. And we are getting some reinforcements. Okay. Uh, we have sunk a bunch more convoys. But has Yamamoto engaged? It looks like he... Uh, there's, the, there's the Asiatic fleet. So maybe these will actually meet in combat. We will find out. Because Yamamoto currently seems to be... Uh, we've, lost, uh, we've lost a submarine. We sunk an American convoy. And we've got some... I think these are... Yeah, these are Australian destroyers that are ca causing us grief here. So if the... Um, if the Asiatic fleet from the, from the US is intervening as well then we should have a naval battle on our hands here. But uh, we will find that out in a minute. Um, just keeping a very close eye, we've sunk a convoy here. So they both seem to be operating in the same area. And as soon as that... Uh, we're still not seeing any reinforcements. Uh, okay, I think... There, there's definitely Yamamoto's force coming in, and I think the, Asi the Asiatic fleet I is is engaging as well. So this might get interesting. Um, let's see if Yamamoto can sink these destroyers before the rest of the fleet arrives, and uh, how this how this plays out. Now, let's see if Yamamoto can do any better than Osawa, honestly, because I think this is probably a relatively close um, a relatively close engagement, but we will find out. Um, this is very exciting. I'm slowing it down to one speed, and uh, we'll see if there. Uh, yeah, everything else can wait. Uh, we'll, okay, so the uh, the American forces have made it here first. Okay, so the opposing forces are. We've got Yamamoto's carrier group one. 
um, which with two battleships, two battle cruisers, uh, eight light, nine. Are these all light? I think nine, nine light cruisers, twenty-eight destroyers versus a, uh, I think a, relat a relatively similar sized, um, a relatively similar sized uh, destroyer line. Uh, three, four heavy cruisers. Yeah, four heavy cruisers, a bunch of light cruisers, and a bunch of destroyers. So, uh, this is the uh, USS Minneapolis, the New Orleans, the Astoria, and the Tuscaloosa. So, uh, the, uh, Yamamoto should be able to to take these on, and I think the Americans have made a mistake here. So, um, they are already trying to to disengage. Um, can I see? How do I get more details on this? Shark infested waters, yeah, uh, definitely. So uh, the destroyers are trying to disengage and the heavy cruisers have realized their mistake. Uh, it looks like um, the uh, Tuscaloosa has been hit by by the first uh, sortie from, from Yamamoto's planes and uh, has taken some severe damage here. Uh, she's down to 16.8% uh, of her strength and there's the second one going. The Minneapolis is turning turning tail uh, and trying to run. The destroyers are trying to disengage as well. It's a question if uh, Yamamoto can get his troops, uh, can get his ships uh, in, in formation quickly enough. So the destroyer and the light cruiser lines are disengaging. They might have thought that they wouldn't, uh, they would only be facing, uh, they would be hunting uh, uh, Japanese submarines. But the USS K Craven has been taken out by the Congo uh, and uh, we will see if they can manage to disengage. They've already lost a second and a third ship. So the destroyers, uh, destroyers have been are being taken out relatively quickly by our large guns. Uh, one of the Australian destroyers uh, is down, and um, I'm not sure. So our air groups. Sorry, this is the first time that I'm I'm reading something like that. Uh, we've lost uh, a, sm a small number of uh, of naval bombers, but uh, they are doing some heavy damage against the against the American cruisers. And uh, the uh, the fighters don't really have to do something because uh, there are no enemy fighters operating at the moment. But uh, the dis the cruisers have taken some heavy uh, some heavy damage, and the destroyers are being shredded by the by the big guns here as well as by the screening forces. I think we had one Mogami-class light cruiser uh, in... Uh, yeah, we've got Mogami herself actually fighting here. And um, uh, this this should make... We should, we should outgun the Americans quite badly here. Okay, the USS Astoria has gone down and he's been shunk, he's been su she's been su sunk by a torpedo strike. So that's the first uh, larger ship that uh, we've taken out in this whole campaign. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, two, what is the, so two convoys have managed to disengage. And uh, they still got three heavy cruisers. The New Orleans, who's got, ta who's taken a hit. The Tuscaloosa, who's in, who's in bad shape. And the Minneapolis, who's still looking pretty good. They're all trying to disengage. But they're obviously being pummeled now by Yamamoto's troop, uh, by Yamamoto's fleet. And it's just a matter of time until these heavy guns are going to make very short work of the cruisers. It's just a question of how many of them can get away. Uh, and it looks like the yeah the Tuscaloosa has been sunk by the Haruna. Uh, that just leaves Minneapolis and New Orleans plus all the light cruisers and destroyers of the screening force. And uh, we will see we'll see what we can do about these. Uh, and that just concludes, I think. Uh, yeah, Minneapolis has been sunk by the Kaga, and th that just leaves the New Orleans, who is probably not going to make it make it out of their life either. So uh, we'll see how that goes. She's at 72% of her whole strength, has taken some damage from the heavy guns from our battle line, and uh, the the destroyers are trying to get disengaged, but they've already lost six destroyers. Uh, the uh, the yeah the, U the USS Omaha uh, the light cruiser has been sunk by the Ryujo and uh, with the na with naval with torpedo bombers because I'm not actually having any dive bombers and there goes the uh, I think the last one was the New Orleans has been sunk by Kaga as well 
So uh, that just leaves uh, that just leaves a, a, a two two light cruisers and a bunch of destroyers. I honestly don't think they're going to make this out. This is a glorious victory for Yamamoto's first fleet here, uh, and uh, they have definitely they have definitely done their duty and uh, and de are, are dealing a savage blow to this American battle group. And I think that more than compensates for for uh, Osawa's blunder. So I'd say it's 1-1 one, one, uh, for Japan versus the US in here. Uh, we'll see if anything can, can es actually escape uh, or if we can manage to still catch these, uh, catch, catch these destroyers alive. I think that was the end of the battle. Let's see if we get the naval battle result. That's a different one. Uh, it's three submarines down. Uh, that's another one. <laughs> Two convoys. Uh, that's, an that's a different one. That's another convoy, and that should be the one, yes. So, the Battle of Truk. The Americans have fallen for our trap. They thought after the retreat of uh, Osawa into the home islands that they had free reign over the, uh, over the island chains. And uh, a an Australian destroyer force had engaged Japanese submarines but uh, and, and had called for backup the American task force has responded but what they didn't know was that Yamamoto himself was lurking in Palau with uh, with the full force of carrier group one and uh, was was ra was uh, was going out and that has cost them a grand total of one convoy three light cruisers four heavy cruisers and 17 destroyers on the American side plus six destroyers on the British side for the cost of one submarine and eight um, naval bombers shot down by anti-aircraft fire. The, uh, the naval bombers have taken out, uh, have, have taken out quite, a, um, have, uh, quite, quite a few ships, but uh, in the, uh, the, the Congo has this, and the Haruna have definitely distinguished themselves in, in the amount of damage that they've done to the enemy cruisers. Uh, the Nagato has, done some good has had some good shots as well. Uh, some of our refitted cruisers have taken out a lot of the destroyers. These are the Mogami class refits, so they are quite powerful gun cruisers. And um, even the early cruisers have um, have and and the fleet screen destroyers have done have done quite some damage. Uh, yeah, that uh, I would say evens it out a little bit between the Americans and uh, and the, the Japanese. So the first first blood went to the Americans. But uh, Yamamoto has has uh, balanced out Osawa's blunder, and uh, we're definitely we're definitely trading more equally now. So if we're looking at the overall uh, 100 to 270, yep, that's more like it. So that has definitely cost them uh, quite quite dearly. Okay, uh, we have surrounded we have surrounded uh, some units here. Let's just wipe these out. Um, more more troops are arriving, and I don't think the I don't think there is much here. So I'm thinking of literally just walking them along the coast and getting them to um, getting them to conquer this all while they're at it, and uh, just making sure that we get that all connected. Okay, yeah, more troops arriving, and we keep sinking American submarines. We are losing. Uh, we are losing. We are losing some convoys here and there, but uh, the, uh, the our our destroyer escorts and uh, our planes are doing. No, nope. are you going to go away? Oh, there's another one. Okay, uh, that's just convoys. They're not very good at sinking convoys, but they are very good at taking out submarines. And like I, I mentioned a couple of times uh, in an earlier episode, that is actually historically accurate because um, oh, he, things don't look too great here. Uh, we are running very low on supply, and then so are they. But we are on the offensive, which doesn't seem to be going too well. So I'm not sure we can push them out here. We will try, though. We'll see if we can manage to push them out. There's another division here. That one can stay. This one can assist with reinforcing. Um, yeah, unfortunately, supply is going to be a massive issue down here, so we'll just have to see how it works. How it works out. Uh, but we have managed to uh, to take out everything here, 
and the colonial forces should be getting into place uh, to take on the port defense in this area. Uh, once the... Oh, they are here, okay. It's perfect. So they can be on naval invasion support in this area. And that means we can launch... Uh, we can launch... Uh, we can launch this invasion order. So we are sending three marine divisions to uh, to Davao in Mindanao, and we will try to take try to take um, take Mindanao from them. Now the um, we've still got three marine divisions up in the north. Is that order ready? That is the question. Uh, no, four out of eleven days. Okay, so the fifth army. Previous has wiped out all these troops. What are the losses by now? And that's why well, I'm curious. Uh, we have inflicted 114,000 casualties against Free France. Uh, we have inflicted 67,000 against the Dutch East Indies. Uh, we've uh, inflicted 33,000 against Australia. Uh, we've been fighting... Uh, we've been fighting uh, Canada as well. <laughs> We've definitely done so, uh, over 100,000 to the United Kingdom, some against New Zealand, some against South African troops, uh, a lot of casualties against the British Raj, almost a quarter million, and uh, British Malaya as well. We have inflicted 46,000 casualties on the Philippines and uh, 31,000 so far against the United States for a total of 34,000 losses on our side. So. That is not too not too terrible. The fifth army. Um, I'm not sure what I need the fifth army for. I think I'm going to start moving the fifth army uh, up north here, like sort of along this line, because I am kind of getting ready. Uh, once the uh, I'm going to have to keep an eye on. Um, who, the Soviet Union are currently still in a non-aggression pact, so the Germans have not. Um, yeah, we can't, we can't, uh, we can't justify because we're also still having a non-aggression pact with the Soviet Union. Um, I don't know for how long though. Can we break the non-aggression pact? No, I think it, it's it takes a, a certain amount of time. So. Uh, I think once the Germans are breaking their non-aggression pact and start to attack the Soviets, we let them move all their troops towards the German border, and then we will stab them in the back. And I'm more just interested in... I don't, not so much interested in the Soviet resources. The Germans can have that, to be honest. But I'm more interested in um, in taking... Uh, in securing our, our land border, such that um, probably around... Uh, like, everything east of the Ural... We'll, we'll see how much... Uh, We'll see how much participation we're going to get, but I definitely want this area here cleaned up and make that part of the Empire of Japan. Um, these guys, actually, I'm not sure if they have any. We can we can plan a quick naval invasion from here to uh, Trichomalee and get these two. Oh, I think I've have I used up all my naval invasion orders. No, there are two divisions on naval invasion. Uh, just just to wipe that out. I know they're not marine divisions, but I don't expect them to have to do an awful lot of fighting. Okay, uh, we are running low on fuel again. That's because Yamamoto is still out and about. But um, we have additional spotting. No, these were just the British light cruisers that we've seen. Solomon Sea, these are troop convoys. And these are troop convoys. We have su our submarines have sunk a lot of enemy troops in the ocean. So uh, we've lost, uh, we've tried to sink a convoy. Convoys are pretty darn difficult to hit. Um, we've lost another plane again. Uh, we will be, once the research is, uh, uh, we've got enough naval experience from that battle actually, to get the Shokaku class designed. Okay, let's do that. So this is going to be the Shokaku class. And uh, historical carriers. Um, uh, we're going with we're going with uh, mm, historical carrier status. Okay, so Chicago class. Uh, yeah, it's not many models. Hangar space, more hangar space, more hangar space, more hangar space. Deck armor, don't need it. Uh, actually, 
No, we will wait. We'll wait until the uh, 29 days until the dual purpose secondaries are done. And then we can uh, we can get the, uh, the carrier designed. Okay. Um, did I start that naval invasion? Yes, I did, I think. We can get back up to two speed. <laughs> and that can... You can go to that front line still. And yeah, here we are. We are facing some troops. There are some British, there's some British troops here, I believe. Uh, are these British? That's, yeah, that's the British 16th Infantry Division. I'm not sure what they're doing out down south here. And there's some French as well. So, uh, definitely... Uh, definitely things happening. Let's see if we can get these guys encircled. And um, this is probably not going to go too well, but I'll try it regardless, because we don't have air. But they are very low on, they are very low on um, on uh, on organization. So we're definitely going to see if we can. Oh, we can wipe some troops out here and cut them off as much as possible. And we have to keep an eye on the naval battles again. Oh, we have sunk a convoy with airplanes. Well done. And two more convoys uh, falling to our submarines. Yeah, these convoys must be starting to hurt as well. And I think they might have pulled the troops out of Guam again. At least I can't see them. But... Uh, and yeah, yeah, that's just uh, we're hunting, we're hunting American sub submarines again. Okay, how's the war in Iran going? Uh, he's not going as it should be. How is it looking? Uh, yeah, I think these these attacks are not potentially not going to succeed. Okay, uh, this convoy. Okay, we will have to stop looking at these uh, these naval battles until I have a. Uh, do they actually have... No, they have nothing in the air. But um, unfortunately, neither do we. So the problem is, is that there's no, air f there's no air power. And we're fighting in the mountains. I may have to build a small airport in Baluchistan. Uh, yeah, we're going to get a small airbase in Baluchistan going. That shouldn't take too long. Let's make that priority. And then... Uh, we can get ourselves some air because this isn't gonna work. So I'm gonna stop that that attack uh, We might be able to oh, yeah, let them attack we might be able to take them on here though uh, Although we need to leave one division here in order to and just get them to support that uh, The northern more more naval battles uh, that's convoys That's troop convoys. That's three more convoys yeah, the submarines are hurting them. Do we have any more ships that are ready? Constructed? Not really. Uh, how's Osawa's first strike force doing? Still under repair. Still going to take a while. But uh, he will be back in action. Uh, he, Yamamoto has, has kind of compensated for his blunder. Oh, we've got an ace pilot. Nice. Hasn't happened in a while. And we are just pushing these pushing these divisions out of here. I could move some tactical bombers over here and, and have them have them run from here. The thing is I need the tactical bombers because um, as you can see, <laughs> there's still plenty of uh, plenty of shipping underway. Um, this is another, what is that? Uh, yeah, there might even be some capital ships here. So the British are still operating. There's still Force Z that, uh, that we've seen somewhere here operating a while ago. Um, and I think that's the same spotting, yes. And here we are still... Uh, oh no, it's actually the... That's the American submarines harassing our, tr uh, our supply lines. But uh, hopefully that, that'll... There will be an end to that relatively soon as well. Okay. Alright, so we're still trying for the encirclement here. Uh, where is it? There. Uh, yeah, we have trouble sinking the sinking the single convoys, and we keep losing planes against that. But uh, that just happens. They're just accidents. Okay. Yeah, we go, uh, we're gonna get that airbase constructed. Maybe we can counterattack here once the once they are done attacking. And here we have we've got an American submarine. We've once again lost convoys. Uh, they have eight submarines. 
uh, eight submarines left, but uh, yeah, we've just we've just ki we've just sunk one of them, but we haven't really damaged the other ones. And once again, we're we're failing to sink convoys using our using our planes. But against submarines, they are very effective. Well, submarines are traditionally not particularly great in terms of AA. So, um, okay, we can we may be able to counterattack because they have we'll leave we we'll leave one division here and see if we can counterattack them uh, and get around here. Pretty much. Uh, let's see if that works. This division can assist in this push. And that might work, might be sufficient because they have just exhausted themselves in that attack. And uh, now we are on the we are on the counteroffensive. This is just all convoys. I'm just looking. Uh, sorry for the relatively um, move for the movement back and forth. But uh, oh, we've got a spotting in the Philippine Sea. What is that? Um, we don't know yet. But we're gonna need to have keep we keep an eye on that because uh, uh, because Yamamoto's force is in port here, um, so we're not sure what that is yet. Is it just convoys? Well, we'll keep an eye on that. We'll see if, if we get some more spotting information. That is uh, that is a British task force, and Carrier Group One might actually sail out to engage them because. Uh, I think this position in Palau is is causing them a lot of trouble right now, because the British are now operating here. I'm not sure if that's the whole force force Z that we've seen earlier, but um, if they are, I'd be kind of keen to see how they do against Yamamoto um, against Yamamoto's strike force. They are still docked in Palau. I think we've lost contact with them. I think our su they have managed to escape our submarines. One problem with the scouting submarines is that uh, they don't have they're not the fastest. So, uh, so they are. Uh, we'll, we'll keep an eye on things, but yeah, they're not the fastest. Uh, oh, we spotted something in the celibacy. Okay, uh, I need to pay attention here as well because we have managed to land in Davao. So these these troops need to uh, see if we can get across here as quick as possible. We're actually going to get sent two two divisions up north. And we're gonna get that one division here just to uh, to tidy this up. Uh, actually, we're gonna leave that one division on port, and we are going to take these nine divisions and assign them here to that front line. How is that uh, that invasion order going here? Uh, come on. No, I want to see the. I want to see the invasion order. Come on, give it to me. I'm always not sure. I, can I just try and execute it? Maybe that works. Uh, shift click. Yes, that actually works. Uh, we might not have naval supremacy, so we're, we're, we'll be sending. Uh, we'll be sending these guys over um, uh, to over here. And then they can operate uh, naval supreme. Uh, they can operate an inva invasion support there. And there are some British underway, so I do want to be careful. Um, oh, we've we've encountered a bunch of destroyers here, and uh, almost taken out H M S Punjabi from from the air. So our air is is doing our air is is doing a number on the um, on the. On the, on the naval forces here. Let's see if this counterattack is going to work. And uh, yes, I kind of need to keep an eye on the Philippines as well. Uh, and I need to keep an eye on troops here. So okay, we'll do we'll do both things. So we've encircled a British division here, and we are uh, we are running relatively low. But we, I think we've managed to push to push one division out there or to defeat them even uh, we're running low on supply obviously because supply is going to be dreadful from here so let's get that into trucks and uh, there are there are still Dutch troops operating here so let's make sure we cut them off and then advance here and 
this should so this should be sufficient forces to uh, more more convoys. The Americans are losing so many convoys. Uh, no, you don't get to join the war. The Americans are losing so many convoys, uh, and we now have a foothold in the Philippines. So, okay, you no, you don't get to to join the war either. Uh, decisions. There was something that oh no, I wanted the. Um, I want I wanted to expand this is actually something I need to do because I'm gonna get my dockyard um, dockyard output this will reduce my planning speed increase my land doctrine cost oh that's gonna be painful um, reduce my naval doctrine cost and increase my dockyard construction speed I'm more about the dockyard output honestly um, this would be reducing the dockyard output again and increasing the factory output. I am I'm thinking that given that I am going to be a naval empire, I am I'm currently unbalanced towards the navy. So we are current we currently have factory output of minus 5 and military construction speed of uh, factory construction speed of minus 10. If we take this decision now, we are getting um, special forces attack and defense. But uh, we're also getting increased dockyard output, but minus 10% planning speed and plus 10% land doctrine cost. That is relatively ex relatively painful. I'm going to take it anyway because I do want the um, I do want the naval super. Uh, I, we are naval a naval country, and I, I'm I'm happy to. Uh, the army is doing well. The army doesn't need anything, but um, we are going to need a stronger navy and uh, we're going to need to control our empire so i'm going to take this one yeah this is going to hurt a little bit because we are pretty unbalanced at the moment so yeah land doctrine cost has gone up but that's okay we're going to have to live with that the army is just going to have to suck it up and uh and deal with it uh, these guys can attack here as well i'm not sure why they aren't uh it has how far along is that air base uh, more than halfway finished. Uh, constructing a small airbase is, is usually relatively quick. And um, so far we haven't met any resistance in the Philippines, which is good. Uh, so we're just wiping that out here. And pushing these troops back to as much as we can. Um, yeah, this will wipe these guys off nicely. And then we can push across here and actually take their capital. These guys need to recover a little bit, but uh, we there was one yeah there's one division back there. Uh, it's more convoys. I'm gonna have to flip between the Iranian front and uh, see if we can get that encirclement going here because that would be that would be large. That would be huge if we can get that encirclement to happen. Uh, we've we've spotted another enemy task force in the Bismarck Sea. Um, we have lost yet another another plane. Uh, we have well, we've done a port strike against what a, against the Australians. This is where the Americans were ho were holding some things here. What have we done? Um, we have uh, we've sunk USS Breckenridge, a destroyer. But they do have uh, they do have a bunch of destroyers here, and they have a whole set of light cruisers operating out of this out of this base here. So that was actually good that I set these on naval strike uh, on port strikes. I think that's still the same port strike, is it? Um, is it still the same port strike? Yeah. And we've got a naval battle result. Uh, oh yeah, we we have s really really. Yamamoto has gone out to kill to kill convoys, and the dis the American destroyers have well there was a whole bunch of destroyers but they have managed to escape by the looks of it. So uh, another three submarines down. There can't be a lot an awful lot operating off our coast anymore. And once we have these submarines dealt with, um, that is also going to be a good thing. Okay, we are still we are still pushing uh, we're pushing Iran. Um, Another spotting in the Bismarck Sea. Yeah, these are the. Uh, we, we know that the American cruisers are here, but uh, Yamamoto has been chasing destroyers around in the countryside, I believe. Uh, that's his troop convoys. Where is Yamamoto actually? 
Uh, where is he? He's not in his base, so he must be out somewhere sinking stuff. Uh, that's not him. That's not him either. Okay, maybe, maybe he, he, he will be on the way, so. Uh, that's all good. Okay, I think this this push is succeeding. And we may be getting the encirclement. The counterattack in the south is working. The airport is nearing completion. Once that is complete, we get some air, uh, some air here, and then we'll have, hopefully, a relatively large amount of Iranian troops cut off. Another port strike successful against that. Uh, well, we've uh, we've damaged the USS Robert H. Smith. So we are definitely doing good things here from from the air. And uh, we are still pushing forward in Iran. I, I just want to get this encirclement going here. Let's see if we can manage that. Uh, this unit can actually try to surround them here. Okay. Uh, radar improvement is done. Um, and we can keep... Okay, we need excavation 3. So that's... I said that was going to be the next thing that's going to happen. So that's that. Uh... Oh my gosh, there's so much stuff going on. <laughs> Game, too many things happening at the same time. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll focus on the on the Iranian encirclement here for a little bit, because if we can manage to pull that off, then uh, we will we will definitely be in a very good position. Now, try to encircle them here. And we will be in a very good position uh, to, to take, uh, to to invade the rest of Iran. The airbase is almost done, so we're going to get air support in a minute. But I think the army has actually probably managed to sort this out themselves. Uh, free dockyards, that's new. Um, I am still waiting for the dual purpose secondaries, but uh, for now we are going to put them into... Yeah, we've started the Yamato class. Uh, so we've started... Uh, what is that actually going to be named? Can I name this myself? Yeah, it's fine. I'll, I'll, I'll name it. I'll name it when we get there. Uh, no, you are you are not going to be called that. You are going to be called the Yamato. Name this number of ships in the production queue. No, no, no. Can I not rename that? Hang on. I want to. Uh, I'll rename it. I rename it when it's finished. But that's going to be the Yamato. <laughs> Going to be in 1942, so uh, we might still see some. We'll do that. Um, oh, we've actually got a bunch of dockyards. Uh, we're gonna put some dockyards here first, and um, some more into submarine construction for now. Uh, actually, I might put them into the Katskis for now. Yeah, we'll put them into the Akatsuki's for now. Uh, we will get better destroyers as well. Let's get some Akatsuki's out while we can. Okay, so I am really, really keen to see if we can manage to pull off this... Um, uh, we've got a, a bunch of victories that we need to... Uh, that we need to, to review. But I want to see that encirclement happening here. Okay, so we're going to be holding here. Uh, or at least push. We're, we're pushing from the south. It's a two-pronged attack. And uh, we should be getting one, two, three, uh, six, twelve Iranian, twelve Iranian divisions. If this works out, uh, if we can, if we can get these encircled, then that is going to be the end of the Iranian army. Uh, we have the airbase now ready, so we can get these planes moved over, and can get them assigned to Iran as uh, close air support and air superiority. Okay, so let's get that going. All right, I'm going to clear out the naval battles here. What have we done here? I've sunk a convoy. Uh, oh. Oh, Yamamoto has actually managed to catch 12 American destroyers and three French convoys and has sunk all of them. Nicely done, Yamamoto. Uh, if you just need to get the map. Yamamoto, you're not allowed to get into any airplanes, all right? You, you hear me? No airplanes for you. Um, he has actually managed to catch or to catch this destroyer escort group. Oh, it's another heavy blow to the Americans. 
uh, this is still the f this is still a well this is a f British this is a British destroyer and light cruiser group that we're dealing with here I haven't seen the battle group around uh, HMS hood anymore uh, we're still doing uh, damage to the ships in port here so they're all they're all not looking all too uh, they're not all not looking too great so uh, that is that is still ongoing uh, we've got we're chasing the USS Robert H Smith who's probably trying to get back to port for some repairs and we've sunk another convoy for convoys here yeah the the tides of the um, the tides of the of the naval fortunes have turned in our favor once Yamamoto was in control uh, things have gone a lot better and we are uh, we are sinking things left, right, and center. Okay, these guys are just wiping that unit out. Um, you can just literally or reorganize that here. And uh, you just keep pushing. Oh, we've managed to get one of our one of our divisions cut off. Oh well, you you pin them in place, and everybody else encircle them, and then wipe them out. Okay, you do that, and you do that as well. Uh, and here, okay, we we have managed to get across, but we are struggling. Um, we're struggling with this attack because we are so bad, so so out of supply from here. Um, we're struggling with the attack against Batavia there. So we may need to we may need to cut them off for now and just uh, defend from here. Let's see, let's see what these guys are going to do. Um, we are oh we are encountering some troops here in the Philippines. We have managed it across though and we are currently engaged against um, against Philippine troops but uh, we are starting to land more troops so let's clear out Mindanao and get these guys wiped out and we get one more division to clear it out around here uh, just all the way up to there and then back again so they will eventually uh, make sure that we conquer all this territory and these two divisions can can attack here okay so this is happening um, we have managed to land in in Luzon without much of an op much opposition as well I don't think we have any more troops from the um, from the fourth army that can assist here but uh, given that we've captured this port, uh, we're going to beeline for Manila and see if they have any defenses. That would be very interesting to see. Uh, there's another naval battle. The Dutch must be running out of stuff. I mean, the Dutch don't really have anything anymore. Uh, they are literally just... Um, they are literally just uh, hanging on by a thread here. Okay. Uh, we are still working on this encirclement. Um, actually, not going to get these troops over here, but uh, I'm just gonna we're gonna just gonna pin the yeah we're gonna pin these in place just so they don't escape, and you assist with that attack. Uh, these are still trying to push through south. Okay, uh, we've got a naval doctrine available. Um, no, I I want to I want to uh, I'll save it up for now because I need to design the carrier. Uh, that oh oh what have we clashed with here um holy hell i have not been paying attention okay that's a shame I, that i missed this battle we have uh, yamamoto has clashed he has clashed with an um, with a major american strike force but we have uh we have vi we have won uh, okay, I, I, I really need to pay more attention. I did not notice that uh, that this was going on. So uh, let's see what happened. Uh, it looks like Yamamoto has has off the coast of Truk uh, uh, intercepted an Ameri a major American strike force. Um, we have fought. Uh, what have we fought? Uh, we have fought the. Lexington, the Saratoga, the Ranger, and the Yorktown. Dang it that I missed that. Ah, oh, what a what a shame. But uh, let, let's see what has happened. So um, they uh, the the um, the carriers have survived. Uh, they also brought in along the Brooklyn, the Shannon, and a whole bunch of cruisers who have been more or less severely damaged. Uh, 
they've brought the New York to Texas and the Arkansas because we haven't we haven't done the um, we haven't done the Hawaii surprise attack. Uh, they've brought a whole bunch of destroyers, and they've brought Pensacola, Northampton, Salt Lake City, Houston, and Chicago along. The Americans have lost uh, the D USS Detroit and Philadelphia to airstrikes. They've lost 27 destroyers. They have lost the uh, Chester and Louisville, so two, two heavy cruisers. Uh, they have lost 43 carrier fighters and three um, carrier naval bombers for a grand total of two destroyers and two naval bombers on, on our side. Uh, the, the, the bombers have done great. Uh, Nagato, the current flagship, has, has been doing a lot of work again. So has Congo and Haruna, uh, the Mogami. The Fuso has been, sh has been hitting sh things as well. And the refitted Mogami class cruisers have been doing quite a number on the enemies. And uh, well done, I would I have to say to uh, I, I would have to say to to the um, to the carrier forces because uh, that's a that's a 43 enemy fighters shot down. And uh, what were these? Uh, these were F3Fs still, so not uh, not the F4Fs yet, but still. We haven't lost a single fighter, so our, our zeros have definitely uh, shown the superiority of Japanese technology, and uh, the American group has taken a severe beating. They've got. They're lucky that they haven't. Uh, they haven't been. They haven't been sunk. Uh, that they haven't lost any of their real capital ships, but they've definitely. Okay, I'm gonna have to take. Uh, that's where. That's where Yamamoto was. I was wondering where he was. What he was up to. So yeah, uh, that was a major victory against the American forces here, even though we have not necessarily managed to uh, sink an awful lot of them. Oh, well done, Yamamoto, well done. Okay, um, why are the British up north here? Okay, so the British are here as well. That means we may have to, uh, we'll see if we can push them back to Manila, honestly. Um, and we are going to expand, extend our range here and try to cut them off meanwhile in the south yeah we are making we are making progress so uh, yeah that's that's just gonna happen here and uh, we are going to need more units in the north honestly uh, i don't even know how i'm gonna get across there we're gonna have to naval invade all that but uh, we're gonna try and uh, walk our way across uh, that okay cruiser modernization is done so once the dual purpose battery and oh no, actually once that is done probably no that'll leave that on planes once the dual purpose battery is done we will move over and do something um we can infiltrate the civilian administration not so interested in that quite yet but let's have a very quick look so i think uh, I, I want to want to see if i can conclude this um uh, another spotting in the bismarck sea um, <laughs> i don't want to I want to lose any more. Oh, the, um, they actually have bombers in, over the Philippines. Uh, that's actually not great. Do we have an airfield? Philippines, do they have an airfield? Uh, I don't have an airfield, so I can't actually... I mean, I, I have fighters here. I might, um, I might get the tactical bombers on ground support over the Philippines. Uh, yeah. So that'll at least help a little bit. Uh, uh, these are I do have some fighters, but I don't think we have an actual airport anywhere here uh, That can that we can take over and from which we can operate. I'm not sure where they're operating from honestly I don't see any airports but um, uh, we, we will find out I guess All right, I want to how, how is it going in here? Uh, these guys are they Are they encircled yet not yet? Uh, these guys are still moving. Uh, we need we need to get a new national focus. I am going to continue. We still have the uh, yeah. We still have these these as well. But I want to con I want to f uh, finish up the um, uh, these first. The long lance torpedoes. Yes, please. These things are going to be awesome. And we're going to start with the. Uh, we're going to start with the cruiser. How's it looking here? Uh, not too terrible, actually. 
and we might be able to cut them off here although that is their port their home port so it's not going to make an awful lot of difference so maybe we'll just move here and then there and then we'll, we'll start that attack again and see if that has any if that's going to make any progress okay i want to see uh, another port strike <laughs> i don't get to see uh yeah we're just hammering these these light cruisers and destroyers that are sitting in port here i want to see uh the encirclement of the Iranian army and um, I want to see that being successful I'm gonna get one more division here to assist with that push here uh, more spotting uh, more spotting in the Bismarck Sea uh, we have a naval combat uh, that's troop convoys uh, we have done oh what do we have here uh we have the uss texas who is probably trying to trying to reach the oh so these are just detaching and are trying to reach uh safe their safe ports in the bismarck sea but um we are we are still harassing them from the air uh that is troop convoys and that is a troop convoys and that is troop convoys okay sorry i just don't want to miss another naval engagement <laughs> <laughs> it's like if you don't look for two seconds uh, there's there's so many things that you're going to be missing so um, well, once these are completed uh, this is this convoy raider we don't need to look at that it's not that interesting but uh, I want to see if we can push through here you yeah, know was a naval battle uh, okay that's just because they have still only been sinking convoys it's nothing else uh, back here. Oh, come on, come on, people. You can do it. Push them out. They are, have no more. Um, they have no more. Uh, they have no more organization. I want to see them. Have they managed to escape? I'm not sure. Uh, another naval battle here. That's troop convoys. And uh, that, I think. Uh, yeah, that's just convoys and destroyers across and submarines. I think some may have managed to escape. I, I might actually get one of the divisions um, to see if they can get around them here. Okay. So it looks like almost if, as if they're counterattacking. But we should be able to push here in the south because we now actually should have some air, some air help, some air support here as well. Um, why are these guys not uh, close air support? Yeah, you're in close air support. Why are you not? What do you mean you have no mission? Yes, you do. Close air support, and you are close air support. You close air support as well. Okay, now that's better. I thought I had them all designed, all assigned. So now we should be operating. Uh, they have fighters operating here. Uh, 100, 100 uh, British fighters. But we should be getting uh, operations also coming from... Uh, there's another one in the Bismarck Sea. Uh, that's just... Uh, that's like a destroyer just chasing us here. And here there's stuff going on. That's troop convoys. And that's troop convoys. And that's the one where we're chasing the submarines. Okay, back to Iran. Uh, okay, I'll say there's seven divisions south here. Eight divisions. Okay, um, we are full of Manila for the emperor. Okay, I haven't been paying attention to the Philippine theater. There are too many, too many wars going on right now. Uh, we are wiping out the remaining troops here in Mindanao. Uh, you can assist with that, actually. Uh, we are pushing through to the north and we have managed to take manila so um we're gonna get one division here and uh we're just gonna defend manila i think at this point um and i'm actually gonna get the other division to clear up the northern ports here and get these regions all sorted because now we're holding manila so i don't have to be afraid anymore of losing my port here and then that division can take that and then join the other one back in Manila. Okay. All right, so that's happening. Um, did I have another naval invasion that I needed to do somewhere? Okay, this is this seems not to be working. Okay, so you stop and you stop. 
And we're just going to expand a little bit here and then we're going to have to wait for reinforcements. Um, you go on that already. You get that organized. This is encircled, so this gets wiped out. So you can just attack here as well. And these ones are going to get everything done here. Okay, so that's all sorted. Uh, we had a naval invasion planned here. Um, yeah, we don't have naval supremacy over here right now. So that'll, that'll have to wait. We'll get to that. But right now I want to see um, if we can manage to get this encirclement going here. Uh, almost. I think they all, all, we could almost get it going, but they have escaped. Um, let's... Uh, we will hold them pinned for now, because we have one... We have we have this these troops here, and these guys can already assist here as well. Um, you two can uh, assist in this battle. Um, y you just go there. Okay. You, you stay, and you assist. And you need to get around this. I'm still trying to cut uh, to cut uh, to cut them off. Um, I am going to uh, to stop this attack at this point because it's it's too many. Eh, no, that means they're going to escape. No, nope, we need to keep attacking to keep them pinned, and hopefully we can manage to break through here. Oh, another naval battle. Um, another su five submarines remaining <laughs> off the coast of Japan. Uh, not not an awful lot. So, we are breaking through here, and then we will actually try to cut them off in this port. While it's a port, it means that they are supplied. We can already start pushing from here, I think. Uh, start pushing from here already. And get all these, get, get all these troops uh, wiped out here. Okay. Oh, they actually didn't have an. They have not have an offensive line. Oh, that's a shame. I forgot that. Okay, let's do that, just briefly. Okay, so we have managed to push through here, but uh, we're now. They now start. They're now starting to send reinforcements. So I'm not sure that we can break. We, I'm not sure that we can break through that and get them encircled. Um, let's see. These guys are defensive. These guys are moving here. Uh, we need more troops moving this way and try to break through here and get them cut off uh, these guys are just defending we're getting some more troops here we will try to um, I, I i'm gonna have to stop this attack here because it's it's getting too much we, we're out of supply uh, we will try to cut off these uh, these troops here for now and uh, just, uh, expand a little bit to the north. Uh, yeah, I think this is going to have to wait for. Uh, it's, to, it's going to have to wait for next next episode because uh, that's just convoys. Because we've done we've done a lot in this episode. Uh, we have uh, we have have we designed? I oh, know we, we're still waiting for the. We still have eight days to wait for the dual purpose secondary battery. So next next episode we will be designing the Shokaku. Uh, the Shokaku class. We have already. Um, that's a Shimushu. You can go there, and that is a new submarine. So you are just going to be uh, in the reserve fleet. You're just going to be training. Uh, where's my order here? Okay, so you'll be training until you're trained up, and then we can start finally reinforcing our submarines. Uh, yeah, things are looking good. Uh, we are. Uh, we are supplied in oil. We have the, we have uh, we have caused the Americans some major defeats. I still have to find out where Yamamoto went. Where is he currently? Is oh he's parked. Oh he's he's repairing. Oh uh, he's repairing because he, he the large last engagement has has um, has caused him some trouble here. So a lot of these ships are slightly damaged. So he's currently repairing in in truck where we have def have given the Americans a major defeat, which means I might actually increase the amount of... Um, uh, yeah, I'm going to get that up to 10 for now. Okay. So we're, we're slightly increasing the uh, increasing the amount of uh, of dockyards that are that are ready for repair. And uh, just to get Yamamoto back on track, how is uh, how is the Strikeforce 1 doing under Osawa? 
Uh, I think he's mostly repaired. Uh, Yamashiro and Kirishima obviously still need to be, but the rest seems to be good at this point. Um, we've still got a Mogami class that is uh, that needs that can actually join Strike Force One, and uh, the rest of them is busy doing what they need to do. Why are you training? You're not supposed to be training. You're supposed to be uh, patrolling. That's what you're supposed to be doing. There we go. And this is in exercise, and Carrier Group 2 is still waiting for more ships to be ready. So uh, then we will have two strike forces, and then we will hunt down the rest of them. So currently Yamamoto needs to repair after all these um, victorious battles that he's fought. And I'm not even seeing these anymore. Why are these not being shown to me? That's, uh, that's another port strike. Yeah, we, we, we keep hammering them in port here. We've sunk another one of their destroyer. So the air has... The Japanese Air Force has definitely done its part. Uh, even though we're losing some planes, but two American destroyers sunk. Uh, we'll have to check how much they have left, honestly. Oh, and here... Uh, here's the... Um, here's our tactical bombers have still been hitting the... Um, uh, hitting the American group. There's not an awful lot left of that group. So uh, this might even be a different group. Uh, no, this is this is the Yorktown. This is the Yorktown carrier group, uh, with uh, with Texas, Arkansas, a couple of cruisers, and uh, and, a cru and and four remaining destroyers. Not not an awful lot. We've shot down most of their fighters, and uh, still doing still doing some some good damage against these ships. So uh, they they have been absolutely pummeled from the air. And they have not much that they can do about this. The aerial superiority that we have here is is going to um, is going to be a big, big contributing factor to our victory. Uh, yeah, the Americans are going to have to learn that the hard way. That air, the air, is is the king. Even though the uh, the majority of our of our damage has been done by our battleships and carriers, obviously, but. Uh, uh, we are now we're now trading almost one to four, so this is favorable. We had the um, we had the, uh, the the first battle of Chuk, in which we have lost uh, two destroyers. The Americans have lost twenty seven destroyers. They have lost four cruisers, as well. Um, we ha and we had uh, the second battle of Chuk, in which they had lost seventeen <laughs> destroyers and seven cruisers. And it's done some severe damage to their, uh, to their, uh, to to the rest of their forces. So uh, we have lost nine ships this month, and we've sunk 159 enemy ships. Uh, compared to last month, where we were trading almost one to two, that is a pretty that is a pretty good um, that is a pretty good result, I would say, all in all. So, while we we have traded pretty well, all things considered. All right, that's it for today. Thanks, everybody. And in the next episode, we will be comp trying to still complete. We're having the race to the sea here. Uh, we've got our we've got our army trying to outflank the Iranians and um, and my, and try to get uh, get across to uh cut them off around the persian gulf and cut the uh, iranian army off and defeat them decisively we now have uh, we now have some air power in the region we've got 200 fighters and uh, support planes down here and uh that should against uh, 71 enemy fighters because i think the british have yeah the british have pulled out so these are just ir old iranian biplanes uh, we are continuing we are starting to secure the philippines which is huge because that'll deprive the Americans of one of their major forward bases. Uh, we are sorting out the remaining Dutch East Indies, which means also that our fuel income uh, should be... Let's have a look at the resources. Uh, where are we? Resources. Our fuel income should be improved. Uh, we are, uh, we, we're getting aluminium, we're getting rubber. Do we still need to trade for aluminium? Uh, I think we might... We might not need to do that anymore. So if we cut that off, I think we'll be good. Uh, no, we're not. <laughs> uh, that is too much. But I think we can just trade with Manchuko, and that would actually be sufficient. 
we don't need to tr uh, trade with the Siamese Empire anymore. So, so that's good. Uh, we'll get that sorted as well. Um, uh, how's our fuel income? Uh, we are we are having a daily gain of 4.8 and a daily consumption of 5.4. So uh, we are not yet there. We're not yet at self-sufficiency. We are still trading with Venezuela for uh, for for lots of oil. But uh, hopefully once we've got this all covered here, uh, things will get better. And yes, the, the raiding of our convoys means that not all the resources are arriving where they should be. But um, uh, we, we will get to it. We will get to it. The Japanese Empire is on the verge of self-sufficiency. We keep sinking American submarines. There are three left. And once these are done, I think the American uh, f forces deployed here are going to be severely reduced. And uh, it is time for the Japanese Empire to strike back, to take the initiative and to expand our operations across all the Pacific, cut the British off from the Indian Ocean. And uh, yeah, move along on our plan for world domination. That's it for today. Thanks, everybody, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.